In this video, we're going to have a look at how to find the modulus and argument of a complex number. So first of all, we should define what modulus means. Uh, well, the modulus of a complex number is the distance from the origin of that complex number. So let's take, for example, this complex number here, which is 4 plus 3i. So this particular number here is a distance of 4 horizontally from the origin and 3 vertically from the origin. So the distance from the origin can be easily calculated using a simple Pythagoras theorem calculation. So this length here is 4. This length here is 3. Therefore, the modulus of 4 plus 3i, i.e. the distance from the origin, simple Pythagoras calculation, the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared equals, so 16 plus 9 is root 25, which is 5, simple 3, 4, 5 triangle. So that modulus there is 5. So let's try it again with this one here. So this particular complex number is minus 5 plus 6i. So minus 5 plus 6i is that one. So that's the complex number there. And horizontally, we can see it's a distance of 5 from the origin. Vertically, a distance of 6. Therefore, the modulus of minus 5 plus 6i equals square root of 5 squared plus 6 squared equals, so 36 add 25 is root 61. And that's as simple as it gets since 61 is a prime number. So in general, the modulus of any complex number a plus bi is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. And that's a formula that you're allowed to remember. You don't need to um, derive this every time. You don't need to draw the diagram. You don't need to draw it on the argon diagram. So that's modulus. So deleting all this now, we're keeping the complex numbers on. Let's have a look at these two complex numbers here. So this one is 7 minus 3i. And this one here, which I'll colour black, is minus 4 minus 5i. So minus 4 minus 5i. And let's draw the arrows on. Right, so we've got four complex numbers there. So now we're going to have a look at the argument of a complex number. So the argument of a complex number is the anti-clockwise angle that it makes with the real axis, the positive real axis. So I've highlighted that purple, the positive real axis there. So let's have a look, for example, at 4 plus 3i. The anti-clockwise angle made with the real axis so start the real axis, the positive real axis. Go anti-clockwise till we hit the complex number. So there it is there, alpha. Now notice we can use a simple trigonometric calculation for this. So we know the height of the triangle or the opposite side. We know the length of the adjacent side. So the adjacent side, as we saw before, is 4. The opposite side is 3. So we know that tan theta, or tan alpha in this case, equals opposite over adjacent, which means that alpha equals the inverse tan of three quarters. So the inverse tan of three quarters, which is 0 0.6435 radians to four significant figures, 0.6435 radians four significant figures. So the notation that we use to say the argument of 4 plus 3i is 0 0.6435 radians. We use the notation arg, which is argument of 4 plus 3i equals 0 0.6435 radians to four significant figures. So let's delete all trace of that and try a different one. So let's try and find the argument of this minus five plus six i, the green one. 
Well, the argument again, starting at the positive real axis, going anti-clockwise until we hit the complex number. So this here, that angle there, is the argument of minus five plus six i. But because it doesn't form a right angle triangle, directly, we can't calculate it straight away. What does form a uh, right angle triangle though, is this one here. There's the opposite, there's the adjacent. So we can find this angle here, which I'm gonna call beta. Okay, so tan beta equals, and the height is six, the width is five, so opposite over adjacent, which means that beta equals the inverse tan of six fifths. So the inverse tan of six fifths six fifths equals 0 0.8760 0 0.8760 and so on but that's not the answer that's just the angle beta the argument actually this angle here this is 180 degrees although when we're talking about arguments we don't work in degrees we work in radians and that's one of the most common mistakes so the argument of minus 5 plus 6i equals pi, which is the equivalent in radians of 180 degrees, i.e. the whole angle here, this whole angle, take away beta, which just leaves us with the argument. So take away 0 0.8760 dot 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 equals, and it's stored in the answer button on the calculator, so pi take answer so I don't lose any precision equals 2.266 radians to four significant figures so 2.266 radians to four significant figures so let's delete all trace of that now and have a good another one let's try this blue one let's try the argument of 7 minus 3i now one thing I didn't mention before but this is very 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 important when the complex number is below the x-axis we have to go clockwise and it gives us a negative argument so anti-clockwise positive when the complex number is above the x-axis when it's below the x-axis negative so we can see that this one's below the x-axis so the argument is actually that there so that there is the argument of 7 minus 3i and let's call this angle theta so we can see that this right angle triangle is made. So I'll just highlight it. We've got this opposite side here being three and the adjacent being seven. So we know that tan theta equals the opposite over the adjacent, which means that theta equals the arc tan, the inverse tan, three sevenths which is equal to 0 0.4049 to four significant figures so equals 0 0.4049 to four significant figures but that's not the argument remember that if the complex number lies under the x-axis we go clockwise and make it negative therefore Theta isn't the argument. The argument of 7 minus 3i, looking at the diagram, is negative 0 0.4049. And again, that's because we go clockwise because the angle is under the x-axis. So now deleting all traces of that, we've got one more to have a look at. Again, we see that minus 4 minus 5i is under the x-axis. So we start at the real axis, but go this time clockwise. So that there, that there is the argument of minus 4 minus 5i. Now we can't form a right angle triangle directly from that argument. So we're going to have to do this indirectly. So the triangle we can form with a right angle, so we can use trigonometry is this one here so let's call the angle in the right angle triangle x 
a letter we haven't used yet. So now we know that tan x is the opposite, which we know is 5 over the adjacent, which is 4, which means that the angle x equals, so the angle x equals inverse tan of 5 quarters. which is equal to 0 0.89605538486. So x equals 0 0.89606, 0 0.89606. But that's not the argument. That's just a different angle that we've worked out. We need to find the arguments of that. So pi minus 0 0.89606. 9606 dot dot dot. So pi minus that is equal to 2.2455. However, what you've got to remember is that because this argument was, because the complex number was under the x axis, the argument is negative. So we can conclude the argument of minus 4 minus 5i equals minus 2.246 to 3 to 4 significant figures, minus 2.246 to 4 significant figures. And that's how you work out the modulus, an argument of a complex number. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.